arrived he found that Lazarus had been buried four days before. Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem and many Judeans had come to see Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother's death. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming she went out to meet him but Mary stayed in the house. If you had been here Lord my brother would not have died but I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask him for. Your brother will rise to life. I know that he will rise to life on the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will live, even though they die. And those who live and believe in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. I do believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. After Martha said this, she went back and called her sister Mary privately. The teacher is here is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up and hurried out to meet him. Jesus had not yet arrived in the village, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. The people who were in the house with Mary, comforting her, followed her when they saw her get up and hurry out. They thought that she was going to the grave to weep there. Mary arrived where Jesus was, and as soon as she saw him, she fell at his feet. Jesus saw her weeping, and he saw how the people with her were weeping also. His heart was touched, and he was deeply moved. Have you buried him? Come and see, Lord. Jesus wept. See how much he loved him, the people said. But some of them said, He gave sight to the blind man, didn't he? Could he not have kept Lazarus from dying? Hi again, Sunday school class. I hope you're having a good week. Um, I want to say hi to Olivia and Brennan and Georgia and Aubrey and Tam and Jude. I hope you're finding some fun activities to do while you're at home. I've been following Jude and Tam a little bit on Facebook on their mom's page and I see you've been doing some fun things. Jude, stick with the ukulele and you'll soon be a master at it. We're having our second lesson today, and before we get started, if there's a few things that you want to grab, you can pause the video and go get what you need and do the lesson with me. So what you'll need is a small bowl of water, some salt, a spoon, a blue and yellow crayon, a straw, a drinking straw, or a little bit of play-doh that you can make into a snake. Later on I'll tell you what we need for the craft items. But before we get started I want to ask you a question. 
Have you ever cried? I'm sure all of you would answer yes, because we all cry. Have you ever tasted your tears? Well, let's do a little experiment where we're going to make something that is going to be like tears. I have a bowl of water and some salt and a spoon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the salt into the water. I'm going to put quite a bit and we'll stir that up. And then what I want you to do is I want you to dip your finger in the water and taste it. How does it taste? It probably tastes salty. That's what tears taste like. A little bit of our story today talks about tears. And I must say our story does have some sad parts. And it even tells us that Jesus cries. But I'm going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to tell you the ending of the story before I start with the beginning. And I want you to know that the story ends happily. So that's why I want to tell you how the story ends. So are you ready? This is how the story ends. Lazarus is raised from the dead and lives again. So keep that in mind as I tell you the story. But before I start with the story, I want to ask you if you know what season our church is in. Now, if you guess spring, that's not right. Our church is in the season of Lent. And Lent is the time that comes before Jesus died on the cross. Now, Jesus knew he wasn't going to see his friends after a little while, so he wanted to spend time with them. Jesus ate with them, prayed with them, talked with them, cried and laughed with them. So what are some of the things that you do with your friends? If you want to pause the video and talk about it, you can do that now. I imagine you're probably missing your friends, especially your school friends. But just think how much fun you're going to have when you get back together and you have fun with your friends again. So this week the story is called Lazarus. And this story is about Jesus who had three friends, very close friends, and their names were Mary and Martha and Lazarus. And Jesus was on a long journey. And while he was on this journey, Lazarus, his very good friend, became very sick. So the two sisters, Mary and Martha, sent a messenger to Jesus, telling him to come right away, because they knew that Jesus could heal them. Jesus did not leave right away, even though he had a long journey back to the friend's house. He actually waited an extra two days before he left. When he did finally reach the house of Lazarus and Mary and Martha, Lazarus had died and was already buried and in the tomb. Mary and Martha were crying. They were so sad. And they said, why did you not come sooner? Our brother would live. He would be alive if you had come sooner. Well, Jesus also cried with them because he was sad for his friends. But he told Mary and Martha, Lazarus will live again. So they went to the tomb where Lazarus was buried. And Lazarus was wrapped. And this is how it was when, um, in Jesus' time when they prepared the body for burial. They took pieces of cloth and they took spices and things that smelled good and they would wrap the body tightly in pieces of cloth from their head to their toe. Have you ever been to a museum and seen a mummy? Well that's pretty much how they wrapped the bodies when they died. 
And Lazarus was wrapped up like that, too. Now, in front of the tomb, there was a big stone. And Jesus told the people to move the stone away. And then Jesus called out to Lazarus, Lazarus, come out. Well, you already know the ending of the story. What happened then? Right, Lazarus got up and he was alive again. And the people had to help unwrap him because he was all wrapped up so that he could move freely. Now, many, many people believed that Jesus had great power when they saw this, and they realized that he even had power over death. Now, if you take out your leaflets, we'll do, look at the first page, and what we're going to do, and this is where I need you to get your straw, or your Play-Doh, something that's long like this. And I'm going to read the story, and I want you to make the letters of the first name that you hear when I read the poem. So like this, out of the straw you're going to make an M for Mary or Martha. You're going to make a J for Jesus, and you're going to make an L for Lazarus. Are you ready? Practice that a little bit. If you want to stop the video, you can practice making those letters. Mary and Martha met their friend, Jesus, on the road. Our brother, Lazarus, has died. Mary and Martha moaned. Jesus loved dear Lazarus. Lazarus, his good friend. Jesus cried a lot that day, but later the tears would end. The sisters and Jesus went to the tomb, moved the stone away. Lazarus, come out. Jesus said, Lazarus got a new life. Hooray. Now find the picture on your stickers of Jesus' friend and put it in the empty space. On your second page, I want you to write the name of some of your friends and then draw a picture of some of the fun things that you have done with your friends. On the third page, this is where you'll need your blue crayon and your yellow crayon. And what you'll do is when you see a space that has a blue square, or I'm sorry, a square in it, you will color that space in blue. When you see a space that has a circle, you will color that in yellow. Then that will give you clues as to how to finish the sentence. When you see what is formed by the blue and the yellow colors. And then use your res the rest of your stickers to fill in the sentences on the bottom of the page. And then lastly on your leaflet, and this is just if you want to, you want to find out some more facts about how bodies were prepared before they were buried in Jesus' time, you can read about those facts. And now we're going to do a simple craft. And for this, you will need a piece of paper. You'll need a plastic spoon or a popsicle stick. You'll need some gauze or cotton balls or cotton, a black marker, some scissors, some dark crayons, some tape or glue, and we're going to get our bowl of water back out. So the first thing I did was I took a piece of paper and I wrote, Lazarus, come out on the top. 
And then I made some rocks to make it look like a tomb. And I colored in the black because a tomb is like a cave, so it's dark, and that's where um, people are were buried. And then I took my spoon and I wrapped gauze around it. I gave Lazarus a couple eyes and I covered him from head to toe like he was going to be buried in the tomb. So let's take um, a couple of our tears and let's drip them on the tomb because people were crying because friends and family were very sad that Lazarus had died. So we're going to put Lazarus in the tomb and then we're going to say Lazarus come out and then we will make Lazarus arise out of the tomb. In order to do that you'll have to cut a couple of slits in your paper so that Lazarus can come out of the tomb. So what did we learn from our lesson? First of all, we need to trust God to give us answers in his own time. Sometimes when we're sad or we need help, we can ask God to help us. And that doesn't always mean he's going to do it right away. He will do it in his own time. But we can trust that he hears us and he will help us. Secondly, Jesus sees our tears. When we're sad, Jesus is sad. When we're hurt, Jesus is hurting because he loves us so much. And lastly, Jesus has the power, even the power over death. If we believe in him, we are going to be raised from the dead and we will live forever with Jesus. Now I hope you have a good week and I'll see you again next week when we'll talk about Holy Week. Deeply moved once more, Jesus went to the tomb, which was a cave with a stone placed at the entrance. Take the stone away. That would be a bad smell, Lord. He has been buried four days. Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? took the stone away. <coughs> Jesus looked up. I thank you, Father, that you listen to me. I know that you always listen to me. But I say this for the sake of the people here so that they will believe that you sent me. After he had said this, he called out in a loud voice. Lazarus! Come out! He came out. His hands and feet wrapped in grave clothes and with a cloth round his face. Untie him and let him go. Many of the people who had come to visit Mary saw what Jesus did, and they believed in him. I've seen